All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. Today is Memorial Day 2023. Uh, before we start this video, I just want to take a moment to remind everybody to uh, do a toast to the individuals who are no longer here, those guys who gave all uh, in the service of our country. It's very important. So uh, <laughs> I've got a really cool little deal here. I've lost a couple friends of mine and uh, we're going to be toasting those guys. But uh, this coming weekend, I have five of the individuals who I spent a long time in the military. I haven't seen these guys in 30 years and they're all coming to my house. <laughs> <laughs> I hope there's the drywall stays intact. Well, in any case, they're all coming and uh, it's going to be a blast. And uh, some of these guys I went through basic training with. Unbelievable. But uh, yeah, give a toast. Uh, a couple things. Check this out. So this is a bourbon called Horse Soldiers. And I think uh, Chaotic Canine told me about these guys a little while back. But this is... Uh, uh, brewed by the guys who uh, answered a call just days after 9-11 and a daring insertion into northern Afghanistan on horseback. This brave and unconventional act earned them the moniker Horse Soldiers. If you've ever seen a movie 12 Strong, these are the guys right here. And this is by far one of the the best bourbons I've ever had the pleasure of tasting. Uh, this is the middle one. Okay, so another one. And uh, thanks to a couple good friends, Mr. Uh, Richard. You know who you are. Um... This is another one. We'll be actually opening this one up and doing some toast uh, to those guys uh, that are not here. But uh, this is this is real hard to come by. I don't even know who does it, but it's the 82nd Airborne Straight Burden Bourbon Whiskey. All right, so happy Memorial Day. Okay, so what is this video about? We're going to do a uh, recap of the Tar Heel Challenge. Uh, I'm slower than pond water in the winter time, so you're not going to see a whole lot of videos of me, but uh, we're going to do a recap of a couple things. So uh, first of all, let's start off about uh, what, what it is for me. It's all about the adventure. Uh, of course, I you know have the, the tent, the setup, uh, the shower the generators, the solar panels, and all the cool stuff. I really enjoy doing that kind of stuff, and it's a lot about solitude but it's also being in comfort right so anyway um i don't know if you've seen it or not but i'm gonna put this little excerpt from my good friend x-ring who stopped by the camp uh as i was setting up and it will go into the three gun thing so let's start off there here we go stand by jimmy cage ready stand by Oh yeah, brother. Six one one five six one one five. Take it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Clear rifle. Chamber flag. I six thought. Six one one five. You are four yeah, seconds off from my fastest yeah. one. That's all right. <laughs> we got none other than the KB thirty two. He's got his pooper for his tent. He's sleeping out in the woods at this match. I got some shit. He's here. got an air mattress. You, you got some poop in there, don't you? Nah, it's, it's been cleaned out. I think I pissed in it once, but he's got the good old porta potty, the blue. If you guys don't know who the KB-32 is, you're just missing out. So this is the KB-32 ab stinger, and what he does is he pulls this trailer <laughs> with all of his supplies. I have my big hose. This is my water. See? Watch. He actually fills this up, so he has like, how many gallons of water does that hold? It's 30. 30 gallons 30 of gallons. water. 28 gallons. Yeah. Let's go check out the domicile of the KB-32 tactical. This is a good setup, man. That is his air conditioner. And his mattress. Not bad. You even put a sign up for me. <laughs> so we are out here at the Tar Heel, and John has his own phone booth. 
Here it comes. It's a There it is. Wee. Hello. 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 <laughs> and a water. See, you go in here. Right. So these are John's facilities. And you can take a shit, <laughs> take a shower. Yes, the real KB32. I do I do so like I said, it's part of the adventure. And immediately I start looking into pop-up campers and other kind of stuff and motorhomes and things like that. And things I can't afford. So whatever. So all right. So in this uh in this event, the Tar Heel Challenge, uh even Ray and I both, man, we were so busy on the first day, just enjoying hanging out and having fun. I gotta say that this is probably one of the best squads have ever been on i mean everybody we re hit the stage we reset everything was absolutely perfect nobody was you know being an asshole and everybody was performing and the cool thing is is that we were in had a bunch of the same people we had last year uh so anyway uh being slower than pond water they uh, might as well go ahead and call me sundial just like my old friend mel uh but uh, i'm gonna cut in some excerpts this is a jungle stage right here coming up and i know i'm probably boring you guys but this is what it's all about but uh, this is the end of the stage because you don't want to see the the early part of the stage uh i ran this thing clean and this is the fin finale of this thing so here we go All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out, man. Your name? Patrick. Patrick, fuck. I like my, my cousin, Patrick. Billy Badass. We're on stage five over here at the uh, Tar Heel Challenge. Now, this son of a bitch has so many damn shotgun shells. I'm going to show you a second. I ran this thing clean. I'm slow as a pond water, but I ran the damn thing clean. So, very happy. Patrick, Billy Badass. Come on in here, give me a hug. I love you guys. They're the best sorrows in the world, man. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys later. Next one, <laughs> that motherfucker called Six. All right, <laughs> y'all be here. All right, guys, so we're on day two, and we're having such a blast. Man, I look fat in this thing. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> well, maybe you are. No, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. It's all good. Oh, 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 oh you wise man. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're having a blast, and I tell you what, Ray is kicking ass and taking names, and... Uh, I need to get my head as big as yours. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Okay, all right, so, now I'm one yeah. foot from the camera and and we haven't done any videos just because we're having a blast out here um i'm, I'm getting back into this theme of things and i'm You're loving doing well i'm loving it i had one shit show yesterday uh but uh, so far um i've run two two stages clean two stages uh with the one or two penalties just that's easy i can accept that and one was just a train wreck but i'll tell you what every day every minute i'm getting is just as good as ray and uh, we're going to go one for one, and I'm going to kick his ass and take his name. But I know we There's a lot of great talent out here. Yeah. I think for me to be able to break into top 15 will be tough. Yeah. Open division is huge. Now, you're shooting in a new division, yeah. which is carry optics. That allows you to run a dot on your pistol. I can run a dot. And, a bi -bi. And, and the only thing that killed me was that, that one stage. Yeah, we can run a dot on the pistol uh, and a bipod on the rifle. But no dot on the shotgun. Not dot on the shotgun, which I found out once we got here. But now Memorial, their rules say we can do that. So we're going to have to figure out how to get that to run properly. But man, this stage is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to run. Ray, I wish we were, were really close together. So that's one of the reasons why we haven't been able to video each other. But uh, you've got Oscar Campos here. There's that guy right there, John uh, Westbrook. Westbrook, the man, the myth, the legend. There's a couple of people here from Kentucky. That The one guy we call him the automatic finger. So anyway, that's it, man. We're having a good time. We'll do, continue the video here in a little bit. Sounds so, good. Bye. bye. And now it's about that time when we give a big, huge thanks to our channel sponsors, the boys over there at Trigger Tech, Ultra Dine, uh, JP Rifles, and uh, Callaway Ballistics.
All right, so one of the things I do is on these things is I uh, try to take my car, I put a trailer hitch on it, and then I haul everything out to my campsite with the car. And man, the frame of that thing is not meant to do what uh, it was the rose out at the Clinton house. I have allowed it, and I got some creaking going on now. So anyway, uh, yeah. So this is a really cool treat. We got the long redheaded three gunner. Check him out. This dude is really cool, man. Uh, you got a YouTube channel too? Or no, no just... no, just Instagram. All right, so uh, Instagram channel, the long red-headed three gunner, okay? Get on over there and check him out. And there's Josh. Smile, Josh. Smile, Josh. <laughs> JMB Gunsmithing on Instagram. There it is. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna do it real brief on the stage here. This is gonna be a breeze when it comes to the rifle stage, but I suck at pistols, so it's about to be a lot so of fun. What we have here, guys, is, a, is you have a couple range officers, okay? And they're gonna call it, and what they do is they go, shoot, are you ready? Stand by, and you get over here on the line, and then what we're gonna do, this is a simple stage, this is a simple stage if you're okay, but the cool thing is, is you've got some really sneaky bastards right over here, and there's one over there. A lot of people forget those things, don't they? You got a little climate shooting tree right here. You're gonna rotate over here. We're gonna hit that small 10 by four target right there. Two on paper here, here. And see those, let me show you. You see those right there? Those are two individual targets. But I'm gonna line them up just like that because it makes a bigger target and I can shoot something. Now this guy way out there, that's just gonna be a fun one to do. All right, let's bring it back in. We have two on paper here. You have that little guy right there, sneaky bastard. And then we bring it back out. I'm gonna stage up right about here, all right? Cause I'm not good enough to hit him on the run. And we'll just go ahead and, and I'm gonna do a Bryson Island uh, and smoke the shit out of him, hopefully. Uh, we'll pop one on that guy from this point right here. And then you try to run up here. And you're going to stage up by this jump bucket because what's going to happen is you're going to go to rifle right over here. But you're going to engage these targets right here, pop them down, drop your pistol. And we're going to run right around here. And I don't know, we'll show you. This is the uh, big range, the 1,000 yard range here at Clinton House. But we're shooting opposite direction. I'll zoom in as best I can. Uh, let's see here. There's a target. There's a target. There's a target. Target 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 there's six targets out there at the 529 yards and they go ahead and give it but I lays them out anyway Whoop. all right so anyway, oh big sight all right so this suburban has a lot of history here anyway this is a really cool place to shoot I'm down here first because I'm gonna be first to run this thing I'll be waiting for all of our other people who are up there on the last stage and uh, we'll go from there hopefully x-ring will video me again a lot of fun huh Last stage of the of the day.
Nice run. Woo! Now we go. Let's do this through the window. Five six five. Hey, right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Oscar Stay Campos. Ready. Stand by. Ooh, sorry. Nine two two seven nine two two seven. There it is. Someone set that up wrong. Good hit.
one, two, one, 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 one. one. Yep. All right. Shooter ready. Shooter cage ready. Stand by. Oh yeah, brother. Six one one Woo five six one I one five. Take it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Your rifle. Chamber flag. I saw. Six one one five. You are four seconds off of my fastest one. That's all right. Yeah.